What's up guys? Welcome back to the Planet Chinchilla YouTube channel. Josh here with PlanetChinchilla.com and today um, obviously not as in the, uh, the same kind of mood as usual when I make a video and that's because today when I woke up, chilly, the chinchilla is not doing so hot. Um, we are going to the emergency, I mean don't get me even started on that, but what's supposed to be an emergency vet clinic, even though they told me to wait um, an hour and a half before I am to uh, take her in. So we'll be heading there. And basically what happened was, woke up and she was inside of her nesting box, which she's always in there whenever I wake up, especially if it's um, anywhere later in the morning at all, she'll be in there. But like I could tell, she's never positioned in front of the, Obviously, you can tell I'm in a mood today. So, she was in front of the nesting box, you know, opening the hole, and she's usually in the corner of the nesting box, um, which immediately signaled to me that something was up, and she typically will come out in some fashion, even if it's not fast moving, but she didn't do that today, and she's kind of just um, lethargic, like I said, slumped over, and um, she is, you know, alive, she's doing okay, I mean, not okay. Hard to explain, she needs to go to the vet, which she is here very shortly, and uh, clearly we'll figure out what the issue is, but my guess, um, if I had to, you know, try and take a guess in general, would be a respiratory infection, maybe? Because nothing else seems off. I checked her ears, she's not, I know that the temperature's good, uh, her fur looks good, her inner ears, um, nothing indicates overheating to me. The temperature in the house is, a, you know, a cool 69 to 70 degrees. Um, it seems almost like a sudden onset of something respiratory related, but I won't know until we go, so that's my plan. I may try and, you know, get a little footage of me going there, but I doubt it. I'm not really in the mood to be honest with you, but I will definitely have footage of the um, outcome and what happens to help everybody out and learn from what they can about how fragile the health can be with these guys. So stay tuned for that. So as a unfortunate update, we never were able to go to the vet. Um, when I went to take her to the vet, she appeared to have a seizure and trying to find the words that make the most sense. That was it. Um, it was apparent that it was time for her to go, which really was not fun <laughs> to say the least. And what makes it suck even more, I think, is I, it was so sudden and there was no previous indicators that anything was even wrong. She was fine last night at, you know, even close to midnight, so whatever progressed and whatever happened, it happened in a matter of seven, eight hours. You know, obviously the thoughts go through your head as the chinchilla owner, if it had anything to do with, you know, diet, dental, um, respiratory issues, things like that, and I don't know because I feel like I gave her everything that's recommended and everything that you're supposed to do, and maybe it's just luck of the draw at that point. Um, it was definitely harder explaining it to my four-year-old son than I thought it would be, but he seems to understand as much as you can at this point. So I guess we go from there. So then I, I called the vet and explained to them why I wasn't going in there anymore. And they go, are you going to discard her or would you like us to do it? And I was like, excuse me, discard what? I mean, they made it sound like they were gonna put her in a trash bag. So I was like, no, I, I think I'll take care of it and I'll discard my foot up your So, obviously not the best day as a chinchilla owner, but my son was the voice of reason and optimism, making sure that I knew that we absolutely have to get another one, right? Of course. So, um, to all of you guys, the show will go on. I'm not sure at this point how much the next week or two's videos will be impacted and what my adoption plan is. I know that I love having one of these guys in the house that came to realization more than ever today and I will be adopting another chinchilla and everything we do here will continue. All of the same plans for 
uh, the December 18th giveaway remain. Nothing changes in that aspect except bear with me maybe for you know a week or two why I figure out what I'm going to do to push forward. Maybe a few videos uh, upcoming where obviously I can't have her out interacting but just during a transition phase and there is actually a small announcement. I do need all of you who were originally interested from the previous videos about the giveaway to make it easier to communicate with you. I have created a form which is on planetchinchilla.com. I'll put that URL again across the bottom of the screen here. So you'll go to planetchinchilla.com. You'll click on the tab in the top menu bar that says Planet Chinchilla YouTube and there will be a form on that page that you can submit to me so that I don't have to chase you down by only username on YouTube and there's a couple questions on you to answer which makes the giveaway part of it easier so do that if you were wanting to be any part of that that is going to be required so I know I said originally that we were doing the YouTube username only what well, I apologize for that it isn't going to be much easier if you go over to planetchinchilla.com and fill out that form for me and that is now how you'll enter so go to so go to planetchinchilla.com again top menu bar planet chinchilla YouTube is in the top menu bar fill out that form that is basically your entry ticket if you will to get entered for the December 18th giveaway that I wanted to do. Again, guys, nothing will change. This, well, clearly things will change, but um, there might be a few videos where it's just me discussing about chinchillas, and I know those are a lot more boring than having chili out, but I guess it happens and there's nothing we can do about it at that point. So we'll make do. Uh, I wanna keep everything going and hopefully have a new furry little friend running around behind me in the cage very soon and very quickly. Sorry for the downer type video, as if 2020 hasn't been enough <laughs> on me or anybody else this year, but um, that's where we are. Still appreciate all of you guys being subscribers. Hate to bring you guys that bad news, but better days ahead. We'll push through it. I appreciate you guys being part of a community and support system here. And we'll see you guys in the next video. And there will be a new chinchilla to be announced, to be determined. And guys, as always, if you're not a subscriber right now, if the content you've seen in the past, minus today's, has helped you or you find it fun to watch, be sure to subscribe, give us a thumbs up. When you give us a thumbs up, it helps the channel immensely. And hit that notification button so you're notified about new content in the future. And never forget to head over to planetchinchilla.com. You just need to type Planet Chinchilla, P-L-A-N-E-T-C-H-I-N-C-H-I-L-L-A.com into your web address bar. Plenty of helpful resources and blogs on that website. So be sure to check it out soon. See you guys in the next video. Take care.